Dear friends, I'm highly glad to be on your way this moment, bringing you good news of what is happening now in Biafra land. <laughs> it's the time uh, the people who have familiar spirit and a marine spirit used to buy and sell in Nigeria. Okoto Karare. Kodo Kwe Ganya. Na Ahiana Azuru. Na Lakwa Oseso. Makanam Nigeria na Azuru. Otaha. Kahana la Nike. Manega I got him ne Kurugi, he am na gwagi. Makana wen he got what on yara ka posin tam. Onyara kana tamu kwane se ka kwase ye trouser m the bakas ra bakas. Na gare na does bin. Fellow be our friends, Ibo people. I am telling you that it is the time for last battle. As Nigerian militaries are giving up. In the battle of feud. It is time for us to be reinvigorated, to be more energetic and full of wisdom, or filled with the wisdom. Because there's nothing you can do to achieve results without wisdom. So, as you are listening to me, about the tight, I make you a case. Case, a case. Of course, a case. Me, hmm. Or not a banana. I will hear any lay man. No, come get a crowd social media. Man, I will be the one who get born with. Only since, only since he seems the major charge. I get you going on with charge. Hmm. Carry on. Or do the water. I'm gonna. Kodia ke nwa ma haya, kosisi du ke nwa ma haya. Hmm. Hmm. Kamare wagi he. Ah. Age mechi. Kodia ch. So as a stance. The battle of freedom continues. All of what you are seeing. And all of what you are hearing. In every part of the country. And beyond the border. Is about to be a fraud referendum. And um, seriously, I want to believe that the able bodied men, the gallant men in Biafra land, Biafra security forces, Biafra military uh, forces, uh, Biafra liberation armies, kudos to all of you. BDF. So, which I'm there. So, I congratulate and greet all of you for the job well done you people are doing. Want to quickly, categorically tell somebody that it is only in Southeast. There are no much kids in Nigeria now. And uh, we must maintain that peace. We don't need the kids. We don't need the mayhem, but we need progress. We need the sustainability of the progress of Biafran people. Life without progress is useless. So we are not useless right from the bat. You can bear me witness. We are very industrious, very dynamic, systematic in understanding, willing and ever ready to withstand every test of time, no matter how the storm and the tornado blows. You can attest to what I'm saying, that Biafrans are very, very strong people, and they are the pillar that hold Africa. For your information, as I'm talking with you, it was a phenomenon issue that took place. Why it is phenomenon is because Biafrans are winning the battle 
uh, quickly let me tell you that their friends have won the battle anyhow you like a look at it we are moving forward not backward we are not backfeathering because some people have asked us where is our weapons where is our uh, war planes where is our you know armored cars and this and that well i believe that silence is the best answer to a fool because you don't expect me to tell you the location and the particular place i keep my weapons which i'm using to protect myself <laughs> that is a very cowardic a cowardic question <laughs> And if I'm a coward indeed, then I will answer you. So the best thing is to keep silent and overlook you until you bring out your own weapon. So then whatever you see, you take it. You just manage it that way. My dear dear friends, we must move forward if this very freedom must take place. We must do more. I'm encouraging every Biafran who have voluntarily volunteered himself or herself for this battle to go on. Move on. Don't look back. Because Joe soldiers does not look back. When they move forward, they're heading for victory. And thank God today for the kind of a man we have, the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic in exile who have decided to provide every necessary amenities needed for the restoration of Biafra nation. And uh, he's still doing more. He's not complaining and he's not tired. And I don't think he will ever be tired because it's a divine assignment he's running on earth by, for, for the almighty God. And I want to quickly say that God is his strength. I'm using this uh, medium to thank everyone who have committed, uh, contributed immensely for the fighting for Biafra freedom. So you shall not be left behind or rewarded. Man shall reward you and God shall reward you. Even Satan shall release your reward. Can I hear you a louder amen? So this very point in time, I want to uh, use this medium to uh, pass this message across that if you are a saboteur and you want to move with missed multitude in order to get Biafrans frustrated, in order to betray Biafran generals and Biafran military forces, I'm telling you that you are taking a big risk which you will not survive it. Because any kind of insubordination or arrogance or rigidness cannot be condoned among Biafran militaries. This is the truth. We are fighting for our people and fighting for our nation and at the same time, we are not fighting to die. We are fighting to live so that tomorrow we shall tell our children, children, how we, your great grandfather, fought the battle from east, north, south and west and center and be able to conquer the bandits, the terrorists, the kidnappers, the rapists, and um, the cannibals from Futa Toro, Futa Jalon, and etc. So what I'm telling you this very moment is that um, we make them to understand that the Biafra land cannot be negotiated. It's not negotiable. And there's no any amount of money that can buy Biafrans or Biafra land. So we try to let them know that this particular land of Biafra belongs to Biafrans, eh? belongs to Igbos. It does not belong to Polanis. So for this reason, if we didn't permit you, you don't have any place, I can tell you today and tomorrow, that we are on the road. We are on the road. And we are everywhere doing the best we can in order to maintain peace 
and orderliness. So, my dear listeners, as you are listening to me, try to comprehend the wisdom from me. Because the Bible said that the wisdom is better than the weapon of war. We are not fighting for our people to die. We are not fighting to kill our people. We are fighting to save them. But it's a pity that there are some people in our midst which speaks the same language, the same dialect with us that are betraying us. I know that in every 12 them, there must be Judas. But I thought that by now, Biafrans in general, especially Igbo people, would have learned their lessons to understand that Nigeria governments are using them like slaves. Because I can categorically tell you that none of these senators and governors that have the hope to become a president of Nigeria tomorrow. Forget about Peter B because he's finished. Peter B is just running around, running around, serving Nigeria, thinking that by so doing, they will give him president of Nigeria. So he has finished himself. He betrayed his people. So a question you're supposed to ask yourself, is Peter B alone to become a president? Is more than millions of Biafrans who are dying in poverty, abject poverty, acute poverty. Nigeria government have impoverished them, destroyed their businesses and their houses and their shops, burnt it in the north, in the uh, Yoruba land and the rest of them. Ibophobia, which day did it stop in Nigeria? The which they started in Lagos. Ibo should go to Biafra land and build their own Lagos. And they forgot that without Ibo man in Lagos, Lagos shall become a ghost to place. Till tomorrow, I'm telling you, and I challenge you anywhere, that every part of Nigeria or Africa or European country, you see lively, you must have found an Igbo man who is very rich, very intellectual, and full of wisdom. So we are not um, destitute and we are not servitude in Nigeria or anywhere we go to. But one primary thing that every Igbo man should understand is that Nigeria as a country or evil entity have marred the reputation of everyone that comes from that contraction called Nigeria. Whether you are Nibu or Yoruba, what have you? I didn't mean, I don't mean that everybody is bad in Nigeria. There are houses who are good. There are Yorubas who are good. Igbo people, I can try, I can tell you, they are very good, excellently. Biafrans don't go there. Biafrans in general, they are wonderful people as you are listening to me. So, but what have made their good reputation today is the name called Nigeria because that very place is not a country. And it's where you can found, find, where you can find all kinds of atrocities, animosities, genocide, wardom, and even the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah. So what I'm telling you this moment, must be very, very uh, paramount to you. Try to comprehend it. The war is on, the battle is on, but we are winning it. Because Nigerian soldiers are giving up. They are complaining. What we have is more than what they have. And it is too early, because I'm telling you that great battle is ahead of us. We are going to fight with Igbo politicians. We are going to fight at the same time with Nigerian military terrorists, DSS, and police terrorists. So it is going to be a double, if not a triple war, that we are going to fight for Biafra to stand a sovereign nation. So, my dear Biafrans, it is time to be courageous. Don't look back for your own good, and don't forget to be on your guard.